on my 5k walk starting the day off right but I'm not gonna lie I don't know if you can tell but you can't even see the sun I'm I'm a bit nervous it's gonna start raining <laughs> and I mean I know I have goals and I want to feel better and all of this but I also don't do the rain you best believe I'll be calling Trevor being like come get me it's starting to sprinkle <laughs> I can do sprinkle I'm just not going to do downport rain do not underestimate the power of a, a good walk truthfully I'm going to see how I did so I didn't get rained out yay I was so worried okay I walked 5.27 kilometers here I'll show you guys 5.27 kilometers and I burned 414 calories. The sweat is dripping off me. I remember now why I love walking so much. Do not underestimate a walk. Like you do not need to spend hours and hours and hours in the gym or doing something you don't like to do. If you like walking, go and walk. I just burned 414 calories. I'm a sweaty mess. It's not even hot out, so it's not like it's like hot and that's why I'm sweating. Like I had to put my hair up. My heart rate went up. What was my heart rate? 167. Like, I don't know you guys. Just don't underestimate the power of a walk. It don't make it complicated. I make things complicated. I do. I I mean <laughs> I probably invented making things complicated, but Today just hit me. I'm like, I am literally winded and I'm sweating and I'm feeling amazing. God, it's just a walk, 5K walk. That's all it takes. Anyway, my hair went a bit fuzzy because of the um, mist, but at least I didn't get rained out. I'm gonna shower. Although I haven't figured out quite what to do. Like, I don't wanna wash my hair yet. My hair is still so clean. But then I'm like, I was sweating. So like, do you wa like, do you guys wash your hair every day? Like, I definitely don't. Like, in the summer, I tend to wash it like every other day. But in the winter, I wash it like twice a week. And I'd love to get back to doing twice a week. Like, I literally just washed this yesterday. It is so clean still, but I feel gross. So I'm like, I want to wash it, but I don't. Probably just do a body shower. Anyway, okay. So typically, I wear a size 8. But, as you guys know, I have gained weight and uh, a lot of those size 8s aren't fitting me anymore. So I'm very proud of myself because I feel like this is showing true growth. But, uh, like, no pun intended, but I went out and bought myself a pair of pants, size 10, that I can wear. Instead of trying to, like, wait until I fit into it again and just, like, you know what I mean? Like, trying to shrink myself so I can fit into my clothes. I'm going to dress the body that I have now. So will I be in a size eight again? Maybe, but maybe not. So I bought these at Costco. They're size 10. I haven't tried them on. So like they actually are looking a little, little, like a little tiny. So I don't know. They have stretch to them though. So we'll see. But I got these at Costco for $24.99. They're Buffalo brand. They're just black jeans, I thought. We're cute, so I'm gonna try them on and see how they fit. And the old me, truthfully, would have just been like, no, I'm not going up a size. Like, I've worked too hard. I'm just gonna go back down to a size eight. Like, truthfully, like, that's the way I was, but why not dress the body you have now? We're fancy today with the lights, but here's the jeans, size 10. They fit really good, um, like really good. I am so happy that I decided to size up. So I'm planning on wearing it with this tank top with like a denim jacket. I'm new to fashion. I'm not in fashion, but I'm trying to put effort into myself more. And clothes have never been something that I was into, but I'm starting to get there. So guys, size up if you have to size up. Feel good. Who cares, right? Like who cares? What no one besides, well, I mean, I put it on the internet so you guys know, but nobody walking down the street is going to know that these are a size 10, not a size 8. Do you know what I mean? So why not just size up, feel good, feel comfortable in your clothes. Don't try to shrink yourself to fit into something just for the number. Do you know what I mean? That was me. So 
I feel like I'm evolving, you guys. I'm evolving. So, it's my dad's birthday. So, I feel like I want to have extra highlight on it. <laughs> you guys like this? Like, I'm like, oh, it's an occasion. So, we get to use fancy highlighter. Not that my dad's going to notice or anybody. And I see my parents every day. But I'm like, it's his birthday. So, it's an occasion. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlighter. Loose highlighter in extra. I never use this highlighter. I literally save it for like special occasions. I gotta stop saving makeup because what, like, I should just use it. This is not the best light. You'll see it better on this side, I think. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, tap it off. Oh my god. I mean, it's not like a if we're just doing dinner, but like, what the heck? is it like that on that side? Ooh, <laughs> it's extra, that's for sure. Now I know how it got its name. That's really pretty, but I feel like it's like a going out, not just going to your parents' house for supper, Hallie. But I mean, I want it to be a bit fancy. But here's it here. Her packaging on all her products is like so nice this is her the flash palette truthfully i bought this because it has my name on it <laughs> i was like and then inside it's like i don't know like i will never ever throw this out just because it has my name on it and i feel like that's really cool and it's spelled the same way so i'm like mm. anyway set i always Set my face before I start my eye makeup. I'm going to use this hourglass eyeshadow that I got in Boxy Charm. It just looks like this. It's not loose, it's like packed in there. It's in the color it's scattered, no, rapture? Scattered white rapture. I don't know. I really like this color. I said it in a video before, but I wore a color like this on my wedding day. It's just always special to me. I always like to wear it on special occasions, like my dad's birthday. <laughs> We're just going over for supper and um, cake and gifts. I got him a cool gift. It's like a, by the time this is posted, he would have already opened it. So it's like, it's called a weather network. And you can like, you put a part of it outside and then it's like a digital screen inside. It's like a, like a, looks kind of like an iPad, but it's smaller. And it tells you the weather, the weather for tomorrow, any storms. It tells you like the moon phases, just like random info like that. Um, so, oh, what did it, what's down there? I don't know, I thought he would like that. He likes stuff like that, so I thought that would be a fun gift for him. So that's, oh my god, I'm making a mess, guys. That's the color there. It always comes together with mascara, but I really like the shadow. This was like 30 bucks for one shadow. I got it in BoxyCharm. I didn't pay for it, obviously. I would never in my life, as much as I love makeup, I would never pay $30 for one shadow. I can, I would never, but this shadow is so pretty. You don't even have to wet your brush. It just goes on so nice. And I feel like it looks really pretty with green eyes. It would look really pretty. Well, actually it would look really pretty with blue eyes and brown eyes. Huh. It has a little bit of glitter in it. It's just really pretty. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's so pretty. That's the beauty of BoxyCharm. My BoxyCharm should be coming in very soon. I think I'm gonna do a live video when it comes in and go live and unbox it. I don't know, I think that might be fun. I feel like making videos have been like just random vlogs of me just going about my day has actually been like kind of part of my routine that I'm falling into and I like it. I don't know. I just 
I've been liking it. I'm just adding a little bit of like something right there. Darkness. I don't know. Anyways, that's the shadow there. Another really pretty packaging. So cute, right? Ugh. Ready to celebrate. <laughs> Not quite cut out. <laughs> it's body spray. You can, you can go crazy. Oh, I inhaled that. Ugh. I decided to, decided to go dark on the lips. We will see. I don't know. I kind of like it. I went for a more vampy look today. I am enjoying experimenting. Hmm. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm about to dust off the old planner. Uh, I do believe that I need <laughs> organize this this is very it's an or trust me when i tell you it's it is an organized mess but it's i need to tidy it up this is where i get my mindset right and i've been putting it off because i do like to actually like take my time and like really like it's kind of like a meditation to me uh so i don't like to rush it and i just kind of have been running out of time but it's been on my mind to come down here and just work away I have so many stickers I have so many just everything I even have these like tarot cards which I know is a bit wooey but I like to when I'm feeling my best I am always pulling a card every day just to get like a message for the day and I have these guys the little affirmation cards these ones are very light like I don't know I don't really take these ones too seriously but these ones I feel like they're magic so I'm like I have my fitness planner, which I'm going to get back into. I just found that this, like, I'll probably never throw this out. This has so many, like, memories in it of when I was, like, really changing my life. And my, like, look, like, I was literally so detailed. I wrote down everything, like, how I was feeling, what, how many steps I got in the day, what exactly workout. This is actually very helpful. I literally have in here what I did for workouts, 20 knee highs, 10 second pl plank, 10 lunges, 6 push ups, 20 minute elliptical, 40 minute walk, 5 reps of 10 on legs, 2 reps of 10 on arms. I know that's not like that specific but, I, specific, but I know what I'm talking about. That was at the gym. That's actually, oh, I'm finding this really helpful. I even like would write down when, how like, uh, like a, when I'd have a headache. Like I tracked everything. Like this is like, I don't know. I wanna get back into, I just gotta, I'm gonna do it. I gotta, this is all stuff that makes my heart and soul so happy, just writing everything out. And I got myself a couple new pens, so I'm ready to go. So we're in, what month are we in? <laughs> oh my God. What month are we in? August. I guess, no, we're gonna be, September oh my gosh you guys wasted pages I hate that I'm gonna head into September and uh, we'll see what I can come up with here oh I'm already I don't want to cry <laughs> and I'm not gonna cry I literally just did my makeup you guys I'm not gonna cry but um this feels good feels good you guys I feel like I'm back just sitting doing things in my planner like being creative I literally feel like a weight has lifted off of me my heart and my soul literally feel so full and good and this is me like sitting here writing out things in my head doing little decorating on the like it's so if i ever come on camera again and say that i'm in a funk you tell me jacqueline go and work in your planner <laughs> this is more than exercise eating healthy every like this oh this gets my mind so in line it's bonkers it's so crazy I'm so glad that I've learned this about myself. Anyway, I've I planned out all of September. 
I planned out the week, I know where I'm headed, and I feel good. So I pulled two cards from my, well, I didn't mean to pull two cards from my tarot deck. I don't know much about this stuff at all, but I just kind of go by how I'm feeling. And uh, I usually just ask the deck to give me a message. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. And usually I'll take the card that falls out of the deck. There's always a card that falls out of the deck. Well, today, two cards fell out of the deck. And I got Passion Enlighted and Sacrifice. Passion Ignited. The first of the spare cards signifies that this is the time to let your soul soar. New beginnings, ideas, revelations, and exciting adventures await you in your personal or business life. Creative ende endeavors, enthusiasm, positive energy, and renewed spiritual strength are all at an all-time high. New sense of purpose. Anyways, it just goes on. Like, I felt this card. Like I was like, oh my god, that card just, it's going well with what's happening right now. And then this card randomly fell out, which... When two cards fall out, I feel like that's so special. So that was the sacrifice card. And sacrifice means um, this card represents self-sacrifice and a time when you should look around your life to see what needs to be released. By surrounding and letting go, there will be more room to receive. The rewards for this transformation, the rewards for this are transformation, wisdom, gratitude, and enlightenment. And it goes on about more about it but I really feel both of these cards were absolutely perfect for me today I really feel like I'm in this transition phase of my life I'm literally feeling different in my soul and like I just I was in a sometimes I feel like you just need to get yourself in a little bit of a rut to to climb out of it you really do climb out of it stronger like I already feel so much stronger and then the other card representing of letting things go which is kind of what I've been doing with social media I've been like playing with like stepping back a bit I find that I'm more creative when I'm not on it I find I do things that make me happy like this like the planning sitting doing my makeup um camping like stuff like that I find I enjoy it more and I'm in I'm totally in it when I'm not present on social media so I don't know if that's like a sign or what but I've been just I mean I'm still on social media but I've been very like I've limited it so much that it's I actually notice a difference and I do find that it was having a bit of a negative twist on my life um so I'm toying around with like what to do with that information like listening to how I feel I do enjoy social media uh I do but sometimes it just doesn't always serve me so I don't know just kind of interesting that, that those were the cards that I pulled anyway I think this video has been a lot of me just thrown at you so I'm gonna end it here I'm gonna spend some time with my dad and I'll guess I'll probably see you guys tomorrow I don't know I've been doing this every day I don't I'm not sure what's happening I'm just kind of going with the flow so I appreciate you guys being here uh thanks again for all of your amazing comments and being along with me for this ride of growth and just like figuring out who I am I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.